12 minutes past 8, and we've got to talk about this. Uh, it's the uh, the movie screening, the public premiere last night of Radio Dunedin, the documentary. And those responsible for um, getting it all together with here and they were all there in their bow ties and long dresses and things like that, and some of us turned up in jeans. Didn't you, Sharon? <laughs> no! Certainly wasn't me, no, Alan. No, it wasn't you. It wasn't you. You were there. Well, you were there with your mother-in-law too, by the way. Um, what did you think of it? I actually really loved it. Um, I didn't realise how much of a history I actually was involved in Radio Dunedin, right back to Charlie Mouse. I remember Charlie Mouse, and I'm 51 now. But yeah, it was. Um, there was a bit of comedy. Um, the history. It's. It's was a. It's. Someone should see it. Um, just it's a really valuable bit of history for Dunedin. There was a comment passed uh, through it uh, talking about the history of things here in in Dunedin, and I said I don't suppose, well, even I don't realise just the heritage that the station has. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. think about it, 1922, mm. and the the battles that uh, this station went through to remain on air, and how it's gone from where it was to where it is now. Mm. And that aspect of it alone, for me, a relative newcomer... Look, I've only been here 11 years. <laughs> you know, you look at Crackly Rackly, he's been here since, uh, you know, Adam was a cowboy. Well, that's the thing. It was it was just showing you the whole history of it and, and how the, yeah, the battles they have had to stay, you know, up and running. And it's just really informative. I really enjoyed it, yeah. Uh, moments of hilarity. There were some, yeah, involving Crackly Rackly. But there was also buy, a sell buy, exchange. buy, sell and swap... <laughs> With uh, Amanda Clow Hewer. Ah, uh, the, uh, the Bears. The Bears. <laughs> I, I was laughing so much when I heard it for the second time. Well, Bears that have clothes on or no clothes on them or something? No, they didn't have clothes on. Ah. <laughs> ah. And then all little, little, just little bits that get were inserted in. Mm. And I think Grant and uh, all the team have done such a wonderful job with it. Yeah, it was... Um it was emotional. You, w- you went through a, a few emotions watching it, really. Um, just, yeah. Um, so what did Mrs Anderson, Anderton have to say about Lorraine, it? Lorraine, my mother-in-law, I'm sure she's sitting at home listening now. Um, she absolutely loved it, and she was sitting beside me, and I'd get a nudge and go, oh, that's so-and-so, oh, that's so-and-so. Um, yeah, no, she really loved it, really, really enjoyed the whole night. There was one mention made by a certain member of my family. Why did you have to dance like that? <laughs> I, I told everyone you do that every morning. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Right, uh, you know what. No, it was enjoyable. Um, the season continues. Well, it opened up last night, and uh, the thing that did surprise me was the number, the, the age range of those that came along to watch it. Yeah, it was. It was really varied. But that just once again shows how long um, it's it's been around. And like I said, I'm, I think I'm probably y- the younger part, probably not, but I still remember it right back at the start. I remember 4XD, the sign. Yeah, <laughs> yes, there you go. Yeah. And I used to walk past 4XD when it was in uh, McLagan Street. Yep, that's right. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. On the way home. Yeah. I often wondered about it. Yeah. And this is when I was working for the other side, as it were, working for, it was then 4ZB. I always wondered about Radio, well, 4XD as it was then. Yeah. And um, I think uh, one of the contributors, Trev Hill, Summed it up beautifully, saying we always because he worked uh, for the opposition, mm-hmm. and he um, he said uh, we always used to sit there and have a bit of a laugh. Yeah, that's right. And then he came yeah. and worked and fell in love. Yeah, basically exactly. that's it, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> thank you. You're welcome. Quarter past eight, and uh, Neil Collins. Thank you for your phone calls too. Neil Collins is the handsome one on page one of the paper. <laughs>